Hey guys, this is Brad from Max Rarity. We have my friend, Danny. Danny. And he is going to bring us his Galissapod Garb deck profile. So, hope you guys like watching. He's doing quite well today. Okay. I can three one, I can't complain. My GX lost to Tim over there, but you know. Okay, to start the profile off though, I have the four Glissopod GX, the main attacker of the deck. Um, everybody should know what he does by now, but for one, if. Uh, actually, turn this around. Turn it around, okay. Yes, you can actually play it like this. Oh. So, for people who can't see it, it's this Galissapod. Galissapod GX. The first impression uh, he comes up off the bench, he does 90 more with his first attack. Which is really good. Um, He's really adorable. Armor press for a DCE, a DCE and a grass is 100, and he takes 20 less, which is also pretty good. And then his GX attack um, kind of ties in with the theme of the deck and switches him back to the bench. So you can set up another first impression for the following turn, which is really good. Um, and to go with that, you have the four Wimpods. So uh, why this Wimpod over the other one? This one because on your first turn he has no retreat cost. So if you open it and a Lele or it and a Bridget, you can um, you can bridge it out and get your Tuffy Coco. And then with his ability, you can free retreat and put the Coco in the active. So that way your following turn you can evolve the Wimpod and then retreat out the Coco to do the extra 120. Wow. Which is pretty nice. And then, uh, like I said, three type of Coco promo. Uh, three might not be the right number, but three is also just really good. It's uh, something you want to start with and it's something you want to see on the bench so you can goose them around some things. Uh, flying Flip also helps soften things up because Ghost Pod's only hitting 120 and with Choice Band 150. So, you fly and flip once or twice, you can take out a Lele, which is nice. Um, next, three Tapu Lele. Every deck's got to play three Tapu Lele. You don't have to play three, you can play two. But, uh, three Some just, may play zero. Some may play zero, yeah. Um, but Lele's just really good because it helps you search whatever support you need. Bridget on turn one, a Guzma turn two or three, an Ace Arula. Uh, just kind of helps you get what you need when you need it. And then to round it off, play two of the Garbotoxin and then two of the Acid Spring Trubbish. Um, That's the one that Mel's card? He's the one that can discard an energy. Gotcha. Uh, you don't ever attack with him. I'm not playing rainbow energies. That's why there's no uh, Trash Lanch here. I didn't think Trash Lanch was really worth the spot in the deck. He doesn't do enough, in my opinion. So I just went with two of the Garbotoxin to kind of help walk out my opponent while I'm just picking away with two shots. Not only that, if you're playing, like for example, you're playing Night Zone, where this isn't doing anything, you need this over Trash Lanch. Because yeah. if they kill one of them, this is not this is hitting them, but they're two shotting it. Yeah. So like by the time you get here and then you have nothing left, it's like okay. Yeah. And being able, <laughs> and like Lele being your only ability on uh, turn two, if you can set this up, like it doesn't really hinder you as bad as it was some other setup decks that are out there, such as Metagross or Gardevoir, anything that really needs to rely on effects throughout the first few turns. And uh, that's it for the Pokemon. It is 18 Pokemon altogether. Not bad. Then on to the supporters. Play a hefty supporter line. Um, start with four Professor Sycamore. Your basic draw power of the deck, you just need to dig for your grass energies, your glissopods. Um, choice band's really nice. It can help you find float zones for the garbotoxin. It can help you find garbotoxin. It's just, it's really good. Uh, and then for N, um, N again, he's this is probably the second best draw supporter. Um, I like Wiki. Wick's good, yeah. Uh, you just in helps you because I don't know how to feel about it in this deck personally because you take prizes pretty quick if the deck sets up fast enough. That your later ends end up so becoming more maybe, useless. Maybe they should become like two and two wicks. Maybe it could you be. Try it. Yeah, it could be. Uh, definitely something needs to be tested. Like Lily might not be bad in here to help you dig deeper to energies and whatnot, but it's been working for right now, so I can't complain. Um, next, play four Guzma. Guzma is probably the main man of the deck. You just need to be able to constantly switch your Glissapod uh, out of the active. And uh, you want to switch it with Tapu Coco just so you can get the additional 120 damage every turn. Uh, next, play three Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla. 
Ace World is just really good after yeah. they beat up on your Galissapod. Because uh, you just pick up, pick up the entire line. You just pick up the entire line, yeah, and if you have another Wimpod on the bench, you're able to evolve that Wimpod, attach the grass, bring up um, a Coco, retreat out, whatever. And it's just really good. And then the last supporter is a one of Bridget. Um, Woo! Look at Bridget! Look at Bridget just to help you pull out Glissapod, or not Glissapod, Whippods, Coco, Trucks. Hey, if she could, like, if she could pull, out. She pull out. Boy. Oh, yeah. Um, On to the items. <laughs> we is are 16 items. I'm going to start with uh, four Ultra Ball to help search out your Lele's and your Glissapods and all of that. Um, one heavy ball. Heavy ball also like can get wind pods and get glissa pod and yep. get uh, garbotoxin. Um, this card's really good. Next, I play one field blower. This is this is something I'm thinking about bumping back up to two, but I've not really had a need for two today. Uh, so I think one is fine. Um, next, one rescue stretcher. Rescue stretcher just to shuffle your pieces back in to get glissa pods back. Like, really good card. Um, Three choice bands. This helps you hit the magic numbers. Like it was, it was happening. You can hit 150 with first impression, or you can hit 180 with crossing cut. Uh, just really strong. Then I play four float stones. Float stones are really important. You need to have these on your toxin. You can put them on glissopods to help with uh, treating out. So it kind of helps trigger the extra damage, which isn't bad. Uh, and then to finish the items, I have Damn. two parallel cities. Um, Why two or not three? Two is all I really had room for. This was a very last minute decision. Um, I threw them in right before the tournament started to see how they went. And so far, the card's not been bad at all. Uh, just limits what your opponent can do, or it can take uh, liabilities off of your bench, which is nice. And that's it for the items. And then for the energies, it's just a small count of 10. It's six grass and four double colorless. And that's pretty much it. Um, so how have your matches been today? Like how my matches went today? Uh, they've been pretty good. I mean, round one was a buy, so I can't really say anything about that. Um, round two was Solgaleo and Metagross. And that one was just, I set up super quick with the Galissapod. And I was able to take out Metangs and Cosmogs and just set them back a few turns. Um, round three was Solgaleo Metagross again. Uh, that one went pretty well. Same strategy, just go after the Metangs, go after the Cosmogs, the uh, Cosmoums. Just take out whatever they're trying to set up. And if you can do that, you can really win the game from that. And then round four, I played Metagross, Necrozma, and as people will see on video, I got one Glissapod down, here? wasn't able to really do anything with that Glissapod, and then ended up losing because I didn't see more attackers than what I did. Um, when you have to flying flip six times in a game, you know you're probably not going to win that game. But, uh, yeah, so far, I mean, matchups haven't been bad. The deck's done better than I thought it would, at least. Um, one more round to go, so hoping, hoping for the frog. <laughs> hoping for the frog, but other than that, yeah. Thanks so for uh, thanks for giving us your deck profile. You're welcome. Uh, and may your lives, yes, Max Radius, my decks, guys. Have a great day.